91.7. Good afternoon and welcome to The Big Question on Women Radio 91.7, Nigeria's only radio station for women and their families. Today on The Big Question, we're still discussing 16 days of activism on violence against women. 16 days of activism on violence against women. We're continuing the 16-day series and today is day 13. Day 13 in the series of the 16 days of activism on violence against women. The 16 days of activism campaign is an annual international movement aimed at addressing issues of violence against women and girls. This campaign began on 25th November, that was a Friday, the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, and it runs until 10th of December, the Human Rights Day. During these 16 days, we have been reviewing and we're still reviewing the achievements and strategies in the prevention and elimination of violence against women of some organizations. We're focusing on these organizations and we'll be reviewing their achievements and strategies in the prevention and elimination of violence against women. My name is Sumto Titilayo Ajama. My guest today is Stanley Dakup, Social Media and Communications Officer, Macrasa Foundation for Women and Girls in Kaduna. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Stanley. Thank you very much for joining us. The number to call to contribute is 07,917-917. 07,917-917. You can send a text message or a WhatsApp message to 0703-175-6537. 0703-175-6537. You can download the Women Radio app, WFM. 917 on Google Play Store and of course on iOS. You can also listen live on the app. That's the app I just said, Google Play Store and iOS. You can listen live on the website too, www.wfm917.com. All right, so Stanley, how would you rate the success of Nigeria as a country so far in combating violence against women? What's your assessment? Well, I'd say in recent, yeah, I'd say in recent times, the government has enacted laws and established institutions which prohibit, prohibit violence against women and girls, including child rights law. But the reality is that they are vastly different from what we presently have. A success in addressing these issues can only be guaranteed when security measures are put in place to protect women. Mm. And as such, preventive measures need to be put in place. You have to know the data and demand more of it. Relevant data collection is key to implementing successful measures and also providing the key with survivors with the right support. Hmm. We call on the government and other governmental organizations to invest in the collection of data-based violence. Also, we need to hold each other accountable. Absolutely. Violence can be in any form, mm -hmm. including sexual harassment, of in course. workplace and public spaces. We have to take a stand. Making jokes out of it is not okay. We create safer environments for everyone to speak of. When one crosses the lane, we listen to survivors and make sure they get the right support they need. Mm. Let's talk about Macrisa, your your foundation, Macrisa Foundation for Women and Girls in Kaduna. What measures has yeah. your organization specifically put in place to support the fight against ending violence against women? Well, Macrisa Foundation will need to local organizations that empower women. We help to amplify their voices, we support survivors, and we promote acceptance of all genders. So individuals, everybody can donate to curb gender-based violence. Services to survivors are essential services, which means shelter, counseling, and all support for survivors of gender-based violence. We're trying to teach the next generation and also to train them. It's very vital because the examples we set for the younger generation will shape the way they think about gender roles. Early. Point out the stereotypes that children constantly encounter, whether in school, the media, or the community. We encourage a culture of acceptance. We talk about consent, bodily autonomy, and accountability to both boys and girls. So you have to empower them with information, empower them about human rights, and we can definitely make a better place for all. Thank you very much for that. So Stanley, if you're looking at things from this perspective, or if your organization is looking at things from this perspective, putting it 
putting in all this work so far, then what more do you hope to achieve? Because this is a lot of work that has already been done, that is already being done. And what more do you hope to achieve? Because um, in, in, in Nigeria today, without a lot of advocacy, we wouldn't have gotten to where we are today. So in, to, to a lot of people, the work has only just started, even though it hasn't just literally started. Because there's still a lot more ground to cover, it kind of feels like we are only just getting started. So what more does uh, Macrasia Foundation for Women and Girls intend to do going forward in a way that it will still be a part of the struggle to end gender-based violence and increase Increase that advocacy. Yeah, we need to engage the young men and boys to become agents of change. Hmm. More men and boys. We need to reach out to marginalized and rural girls. Yes, please go we ahead. We need to keep the girls in school. Can you hear me? Yes, please go ahead. Okay. We need to keep the girls in school. So they also need to be heard and be able to make decisions. Yeah, the collective specialists will be able to handle their issues as well. All right. Thank you very much. Are there stakeholders that you intend to work with? Stakeholders, people yeah. in other areas of expertise that you intend to work with to grow the advocacy and talk to more people? Yeah. I feel the government needs to implement and strengthen agencies handling the protection, the protection of child rights and elimination of gender-based violence. Could you say that again? Yeah, I feel the government needs to implement and strengthen agencies handling the protection of child rights and elimination of gender-based violence. Hmm. How do you mean specifically? There are agencies put out to handle such issues, right? So we need to strengthen them. So we'll come up with a goal to curb gender-based violence. Thank you very much. So what kind of support does your organization provide for survivors of gender-based violence? Um, the difficulty to move people to action. We need more funds to sustain this movement and communication to so much hard in teaching the advocacy of the program. Okay, I think you're, you're talking to me about the challenges you're experiencing, right? So, sorry? Stanley, are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. I said you're talking to me about the challenges that you're currently experiencing or currently or have been experiencing in the line of advocacy so far. Yeah. So it's a difficulty to move people to action. First, we need more funds to move the movement, to move people to act. Communication, too, is somewhat hard in teaching the advocacy of the program. So funding, and you need more people to be to be encouraged to move, to take action. Take action, yeah. To support the movement. Thank you very much. 18 minutes past 12 on Women Radio 91.7. And this is still the big question. Today, we're still continuing on the series of um, 16 days of activism on violence against women. Today is day 13 and it's still continuing the, in the series of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. It's an annual international movement aimed at addressing issues of violence against women and girls. We've been doing this from Friday the 25th of November and we're still continuing all the way through to 10th of December. So. We've been having a lot, we have had, pardon me, a lot of organizations so far that have been with us, having, having conversations with us since the 25th of November as regards their achievements so far and um, their expectations for the future. Achievements so far, expectations for the future, strategies in eliminating and preventing gender-based violence. So today we have with us Stanley Dacup, Social Media and Communications Officer, Macrisa Foundation for Women and Girls in Kaduna State. You can call in to contribute. 07000 917 917 is the number to call. 07000 917 917. You can also send in text messages or WhatsApp messages to 0703 175 6537. All right, I'm coming back to you now, Stanley. You, you talked about earlier um, 
Yes, thank you. You talked about strengthening these law enforcement agencies. Yes. I'm going to need you to shed more light on that because I want to understand your perspective on that specifically. How do you mean to strengthen these agencies? In what context, in what aspects are you referring to? So that the victims will have a voice and then the perpetrators will be dealt with accordingly. Yeah, I understand that that's the aim. How do you say, what strategies or measures do you say they should put in place to, to make that happen, to make the victims have a voice and to ensure that perpetrators don't escape violence? What are the measures to get that end result? Well, we really need to stop sexual harassment. We need to stop blaming. We should give them a voice to be able to speak and not be judged. Are you? Is this the responsibility of the law enforcement agencies or the responsibility of non-governmental agencies, um, women groups, civil society organizations? Well, they both play a part. The government has enacted laws, right? And there are institutions that were established to pro um, prohibit violence against women and girl child, right? The realities appear vastly different. And what we presently have is addressing those issues. When security measures are put in place to protect women, I think that's a heavy. But now in preaching it, we have to go through the NGOs since we opted for that to create those rules, to enact those laws rather. All right, thank you very much. So what, what kind of support specifically does your organization offer to survivors of sexual and gender-based violence? What are the specific services that if, what are the specific services that if any survivor of SGBV comes to Macrisa Foundation for Women and Girls, what are the support services that they will get? Well, we've, cre we've created an env um, enabling environment for victims to talk and to reach out to our team using social media. We have to talk to our professionals, our team, so we can provide them all the support they need. Exactly. So I'm referring to that support specifically. You said provide them with the support they need. What support does yeah. Macrisa Foundation provide? Well, there are one too many. <laughs> yes, please go ahead. You can, you can list them. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, we need... Okay, we've created an environment where you can connect with specialists who will be able to handle their issues. We need to reach out to marginalized and rural girls. We reach out to them. We support all. Um, we support them with sanitary towels, books, and a lot more. Thank you very much. All right, so at this point, um, what are the things that you hope to do better? You've talked about um, needing funding. So how does that work in line with... Um, um, getting funding because funding is very important what does my Christa hope to do better to gain some of this funding that can help to improve the reach that my Christa foundation has so far to even reach more women and more girls yeah we need to get more partners to fund the movement thank you very much um so what are, what is your call to action and commitment on behalf of my Christa foundation for women and girls what is your call to action what is that thing that you think that um women and girls need women and girls that are survivors of sexual and gender-based violence what do you think what's your call to action for them and also what's your commitment on behalf of macrisa foundation for women and girls we need to stop sexual harassment stop victim blaming and stop the rape culture we need to teach the boy child to respect women and not just take it out from them there are sisters there are mothers and our daughters as well. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Stanley. Thank you for joining us today on the 16 Days of Activism series. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. All right. Please enjoy the rest of the day. Organizations like Macrisa Foundation work to ensure that young women and girls achieve an equal ratio for both genders and eliminate all that hinders the rights of women and girls and focuses primarily on development and empowerment among women and girls. To promote the rights of women and girls, they provide a safe space for them to share their stories, influence public narratives and public policy using avenues and opportunities within the systems. So if you do notice any form of abuse against women in your community, 
please make sure to report this. Let us unite and be deliberate in eliminating violence against women and girls. Thank you very much to my guest, Stanley Dakup, Social Media and Communications Officer, Macrisa Foundation for Women and Girls, Kaduna. And of course, to you for being a part of the big question today. Thank you very much to my producer, Elizabeth Akweribe, and to the executive producer, Tomu Okewali Shanaya. It's important to continue conversations like this. It's important to create more and more awareness talking about the advocacy on violence against women and girls. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Sumto Tutilayo Ajama. Good afternoon.